Three, two, one, here we go. We are back online. Hi guys, this is ADC. Welcome back to my channel. And today is X release day. Volvos is the new X, but also a um, couple of days ago, uh, the new August patch uh, went out and we will discuss it. So let me resume my Aerodon Arena forum. Here it is, and we will talk about the new Volvos and also uh, briefly the new balance patch. Here it is. So, very cool. Okay, we have the, all, the, all the images. Okay, now I just have to wait for someone to join me. So, hmm. That's interesting. We we had a great deal of buffs this uh, this week. Three, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen buffs. That's a lot, guys. A lot of new cars, new possibilities for new uh, teams. So that's very cool. Someone is here, so let's start. I will start talking about Wobos. Just because it's new release. Oh. <laughs> guys, I am. <laughs> I don't have Fizz, so I will write Firic. Just give me a moment. Let me see if Firic <laughs> will give me new Fizz. Okay. So we will start with the new patch, and we will see uh, if if we will be able to buy. Almost uh, in a moment when uh, the Pep Pep will <laughs> reply to me. Hopefully, otherwise we will talk about the <laughs> just the stream and I will just comment on Wolves. So now let's start with the new patch. Okay, first hero to be buffed is Arkham. Now Arkham was a great a great hero I think, but just with a I don't know uh, underwhelming um, and quite simple. Play style that mm, fall under the I don't know meh cards. There were mm, a lot of cards, uh, better cards at doing what Arkham does, and that's uh, dodging and backstabbing. So it, it didn't see any play uh, after it came out. So now this buff is very welcome. Okay, now as you can see, the first skill has been greatly buffed. Now the double red gives three criticals and three dodges that's a great amount of buff uh, from Arkham so that's very cool very cool design it's so hot here I need to drink I'm sorry um, and then uh, his flexibility also uh, went better single yellow backstab 200 and plus 100 for each sword that's very very interesting uh, now his second skill synergizes well with the first skill also and this backstab can be quite oppressive uh, coming uh, at 400 with ease so that's very cool and then we have a multi-hitting turn first skill single red now we have three times hit 150 plus 50 for each sword, so that's very interesting. Uh, he has a great deal of uh, flexibility, and yeah, I think overall it's very useful in the metagame. So, now, second one is Azaram. Now, Azaram has one of the best opening skill of all time, I think. Hit 120 now, and all opponent damage minus 20. That's very interesting. With two uh, reds, uh, Azram gives uh, minus 40, that's a lot, so it's an interesting debuffer. Then he, have, he has uh, Fireball 500 now, so a buff on this Fireball and Strength plus 250, that's quite a lot. Unfortunately, this skill makes Azram weak to uh, smite users, so you want to avoid this second skill if you're dealing with powerful priests, maybe. And then he has a great hit, 444, that gives 666 damage against uh, Marauder. So uh, it's, that's an interesting counter mechanic. 
uh, interesting. Overall, I think he is better now, of course. I don't know if that will be enough to uh, make him viable in the metagame. I'm not sure, but it's definitely better, uh, and I will definitely try him. He's a warrior, of course. Bo okay, Borbitron was one of my favorite cards of all time. So interesting skill set, unique, and quite uh, useful for a while. It was um, an anti-meta card for a while. Now, um, before all his output was in, um, in his um, sword phase, thanks to the uh, powder, as you can see, his first skill was opponent 2 powder, 3 powder if uh, it was an attacker. Now, the attacker part um, is gone, and that's for good, I think. Now, Border Journey is much more versatile. It's not just an attacker, but it can be also a powerful defender. Now, this, his first skill gives always 2 powder, and hit 500, that's interesting, also synergizes well with critical, so that's not bad. Second skill, a slight buff, it was 2 times hit 200, now 2 times hit 300, so a slight buff, and his first skill, his signature skill, is basically the same. Uh, no um, no modify, mm, modifying of the skill, it's quite balanced skill, very good. So I'm eager to play him, I want to try him and test him and see if he can be, um, again, one of the strongest cards uh, in the game. So very good. Then Christocat. Now, Christocat is interesting. His first skill is very oppressing. Uh, against the right opponent, uh, Christocat can be a, a nightmare, a pain in the ass. Frostbite 170 now, that's a great, great amount of Frostbite. Then this icy hit went up uh, in output, now it's 600 and always dodge 2, that's very good. And then icy strength plus 100 and all reds becoming sword, that's basically the same. So now he had a slight buff on second skill and a consistent buff on his first skill, so it can be very interesting against multi-activating heroes. Heroes with uh, single red skills, it's quite useful. I really like him. Also, he is a, a berserker, so maybe he can synergize well with Ursid, so that's quite good. As for the seal goes, oh, I forgot about the seals. So, Arkham, I think the best seal for him is um, probably the resilience seal. Yeah, uh, synergizes well with dodge, of course. He is not an extreme multi-hitter, so he does not synergize so much with plus damage. Adzaram, on the other hand, I think greatly benefits from the shield seal. He lacks a bit of output, so the shield seal is probably the most suited. Also, resi Resilience and Ford are good. Borbitron, I think, uh, I don't know. That's quite quite interesting. I think probably Resilience is also good for him. But also Ford. Maybe Ford is even better since he has a powerful sword face and you don't want to mm, lose against um, Scarf users. So probably uh, Ford is the best one for him. Yeah, I think so. It's very good. Ford is good. Then Christocat again. Um, resilience. I think Resilience is, is best, guys. Yeah, I think so. Synergize as well with Dodge. Also, it uh, augments the power of Frostbite, so Crystal Cast becomes a really passive threat. Very, very good. Even Thorn, though. Thorn is good. He has a great um, hmm, sword phase, so maybe... maybe Thorn. Yeah, I will... Go for a four on Crystal Cat. Now, Prince matchup was <laughs> was um, a joke for a while, a meme card. Uh, Prince matchup was the <laughs> worst buffer uh, in the game, I guess. And now it's something different here. Shock 400 and Old Blessing 60 on a single activation. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot, I think. Uh, second skill is the same, dodge 2 for single uh, blue, and the blue becomes swords. So, uh, he received a, a slight buff on the first shock. The first skill is basically the same, and basically he's overall a better buffer. I don't know if that will be enough to see um, a Solarian team, I don't know. I think 
uh, he synergizes well with force, force, and also resilience, but form is better. Then, Oculus now starts with an oppressive shield of 800, so improved overall. Uh, second skill also is improved. I think it's very good, and I still think. I don't know, this is a niche card, I think it's a very strategic one, I don't think he will see so much play, but also this runic shield can be quite strong, so maybe maybe we will see him with Val Valerius, why not? Hi Francesco, hi Shaggy, hi man, I'm talking about the, um, the patch since I don't have fees to buy Wolvos, uh, <laughs> I hope uh, Pep will give me some fees, but uh, if that will not happen, we will play with these cards, we have a lot to cover any, anyway. So, uh, so I think Oculus, as for the um, seal, I think the best one is steel, the shield seal, yeah, I think so. Oculus is a passive, he will relies on defense, so probably shield is the best one. Pyromac, I love this one. This. Runic Fiber 800 is a nightmare with Valerius and also with Dakiza, so I will definitely try a Dakiza team with Pyromac. That's crazy. His second skill also it's greatly improved. Runic Hit 500 also, so uh, uh, Wolves looks like such a beast. <laughs> yeah, it does. So anyway, overall Pyromac is better on each and every one of his skills, so now I think he's very powerful and I think the best seal for him is still the form seal since it can um, activate quite a um, great repost and sore face if needed so I think we um, form overall is the best seal then the section now the section has uh, increased flexibility now uh, old shield 200 is always is buff it's not a bad one but now the red the blue one becomes a sword that's quite synergic with the second skill that's been increased on the hit part and decreased on the strength part that's plain and simple i think last skill two times physical attack that's a great buff for him since uh, it synergizes well with strength buff, uh, buff on the second skill and uh, the heal is um, reduced i think the overall is very good and the best seal for him now it's tough since uh he relies on on heal i think giving him too much too much uh shield could be hmm, underwhelming so maybe the best one is steel form maybe so the first shield will go down easily and then you will activate your forms. Yeah, I think maybe for or shield if you want, but shield will um, seriously undermine your heal. So I think maybe for is the, be the best, even though uh, shield heroes does not uh, do not synergize well usually with with form. But I think for is is his seal. Yeah, I think so. Overall, it is better now, but I don't see him uh, competitive still so then scourge of souls now his crazy terror count is split between the first two skills and so now he has each 600 and terror 20 great first skill great synergy with critical and then shock 900 so he went went greatly up the shock count and terror 20 again then strength drain 150 and all reds become swords so now i think scourge of souls is greatly improved i think now he is um, a great threat for all strength users and also uh, multi activators i think the best seal for him is definitely the uh, shield seal so to to up even more is output so it's quite quite interesting i, I think Oh, second arrive was the best multi-hitter in the game for quite uh, some time, then other great multi-hitters came out and he was forgotten. Um, now he's back, I think. His first skill is the same, uh, but now it requires just one 
yellow, so great flexibility improve. Then his second skill uh, gives four times hit 250 rather than three times 270, so it's greatly improved. And then lightly, life drain slightly improves uh, 170, so it's good. I think maybe we can start again to think about um, Demon's multi-hitter team, maybe. Titan, I think it's a, it's a good one. He's very flexible and also it, it can be good even without Colossi, I think now it's very flexible, so that's good. Oh, as for the seal goes, I think you know what seals suits him. I think the damage seal, yeah, even though, even though, hmm, you have to be careful. I think also the, hmm, the stench seal could be interesting to greatly uh, power his backstab even more. I don't know. I think the backstab, the, the damage seal is overall maybe the best one. Yeah. Still, very good. Shrikan. Oh man, maybe Shrikan is finally playable. I don't know. I will try him for sure now after this uh, review. His first skill now is hit 500 and blessing 250, so that's cool. Now, his output is not uh, all uh, reliant on his third skill and the sword phase. Now he can deal damage even at the start of the matchup. The second skill is greatly improved. Now, just one repost, but a single yellow dice, uh, die to activate and strength 150. Hi, Nicholas. And then his shock now deals 900 damage plus 450 for each uh, Solarian ally. So that's crazy good. I think now she can also synergize as well with the Kiza, so maybe that's some, some interesting synergy there. And of course, for the seal, Shrikan needs the foreign seal. Guys, you don't want to miss um, games playing Shrikan against a Scarab user. So. Remember his release, Ale? We talked about him in a secret... Yeah, we had a secret group with Francesco and some others, Lorenzo and, and others, and we were so hyped about Shrikan. He was so good in our vision, but then he did not see any play just because he synergized well just with um, Solarians and there were not so many back then, so... It was, but it was uh, a meme card. We liked him so much. We... Um, <laughs> we basically renamed it into the yellow cow, and that was was very cool. Okay, Stone Eater is buffed again, and uh, I'm not so happy with this buff. I don't think it's quite enough to make him uh, make her viable. To be honest with you, let me see. Shield is the same. It's a great skill overall. Spell Breaker 500. It's quite good with his might. Hit 600, so a slight nerf on his hit, but then this trend goes up to 600 against um, Colossi. Now, the problem is, will Stone Eater beat consistently the Colossi? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I will, I will need to test her. But anyway, yeah, I'm not so happy. I think the best seal for her is always the Shield Seal. Vanalis. Vanalis was a great card back then. Everyone was playing her. And now she's better. The Fireball, uh, the, the skill set is basically the same, just as a buff in her numbers. So, best seal for her? I'm not sure. Let me see. I think the best seal for her is actually Resilience. She's not. Uh, so extreme as a multi-hitter as you may think if you activate two times her third skill her second skill let me see you will deliver six seven eight nine ten well 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 well, well. let me see eight four five hmm I don't know. You need to activate two times your third skill. If you activate just one time, let me see what how many hits. Three, four, then six. No, actually, actually, the damage shield is the best one. 
for a slight uh, number, but damage shield is the best one for her. She's very cool, I think. And then, Rakud. Now, a slight buff on his numbers, and that's it. Powerful hit, uh, Fireball is improved, and Strength to Rule uh, is the same. I don't know, I don't think Rakud can see play, actually. There are so many better alternatives, so I, I don't know. It's a cool buff, but I don't think it's the best one in this patch. Best seal for him? Probably Resilience. Yeah, Resilience. He is a phone user, so Resilience is, is very good. Okay, that was the patch. So now we're gonna play, and we're gonna start with Shrikan, guys. Yeah, so, okay, I didn't receive any, <laughs> any fees, so probably Eric <laughs> is out, as it should be. So, oh no, no, not the Relic Legion later. We now want Solarians. Oh god. Let me see. We can just go for straight forward Solarian, guys. Okay, Shrikan is here. Oh, man. Anxira is a Solarian. We need to play him. Then, Aziz, Aziz is not bad. It's not bad at all. The Karin is more strategic, I think. Soraya is strong, but just with um, priests. No high patch until your friend will buff Flammar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Flammar will be nerfed, will be patched, then we will definitely, definitely enjoy that moment. So I will go with Karin. I will still play with Bess, I think, just to give consistency to the team. Raise back. Oh, forgot about. Okay. Where is our friend Bess? Yeah, I will play with him. And then another Solarian. It's quite powerful. It can be quite powerful, this team. We need, a, we need a defender, though. Yeah, we cannot play Ziani here. That's a shame. Maybe Kamun. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I will play with Kamun. I think this team is maybe a bit um, unbalanced. Maybe too many attackers. But also Bess is an excellent defender, so maybe we are good to go. And we have two Scarred users, so could be could be very good. Okay, now Valerius team with Lord Alos, a great power from Lord Alos. So he is a, a powerful, powerful mm, sword user. So maybe I will go with Kmoon here. And try to counter. Okay, that's the kind of roll I wanted. Perfect, that's what I wanted. Should be able to counter his sword phase. Okay. Yeah. The scarab from Kmoon is so interesting. He he will he will basically kill himself. Yeah, look at that. Crazy. Very good. Kumoni is a very interesting card. Combined with Karin can be quite oppressive. Pain good with Resilience Seal. I think Pain is good with Resilience Seal. Maybe later we will discuss it more. Okay, let's go with Anxara here. Oh no, I made a mistake. Yeah, Shrikan maybe was stronger. But anyway, if, if I went uh, with Bess. <laughs> But I want to win, so... Okay. She can should be very strong against Lokitos, actually. Since he does not suffer so much bulwark. And also counters um, with repulsed. Anyway, Lokitos with um, plus strength. Come on. Man, that's bad. Oh. Hmm. Almost, we almost lost with Lord Ares. Almost. Oh, we're an Inca with resilience. No, man. Why? Ah, that's awful, man. Okay. Okay, we need another red. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, okay. That's perfect. 
<laughs> oh, we will win with Shrikan. That's so cool. No runic shock, man. Just runic strength. But we have repost also. Yeah. <laughs> no, we <laughs> we lost. <laughs> I I wanted so badly to win. Okay. Now Kyrene is very good against both Warren and Kalokitos, I think. Random Seal is such a uh, such is a religion. You can understand yeah, I cannot understand random random seals. I don't know. Okay, that's great start. Okay, not bad. And two scarves. Hmm. We will I think we can win. Yeah. Thanks to the scarab. Now if Lokitos had the right seal, the form seal, we would have lost this one. You see? With form. But now, with this one, easy win. Random seal is bad for, for my health. I feel pain when I play against bad seals. Okay, I will play another one. Okay, lightning <laughs> beak. That's not, not great. Fight again with this team. Oh, then I will talk about Wolvos for a minute. Maybe I will not be able to test him, but I will talk about him for sure. Now, let's go with Bess. I want to start with Bess just because I want to utilize, uh, utilize uh, Shrikan as much as I can. I think Bess can win with Dakiza and also with Jinkiao, even though Armada can be a problem somewhat. So we need to activate a lot of shocks if Armada come out, yeah. Yeah, we need at least two yellows to win, otherwise. Okay, that's a good start, maybe the third one. Nope, with this one. We, we will definitely lose, I think. Oh, perfect roll for Armada, of course. Of course. The galley, I don't know. Maybe uh, the correct choice would have been to uh, attack with Angsara, of course, but I'm not here to play well. I'm here to play Shrikan, guys. You need to understand that. And my Shrikan will destroy a poor Dakiza. Come on. Okay. Oh man. No shock. Just hit and blessing. Let me see. Okay, no shock. Okay, bad roll for him. So I will just win with this one. Okay. So I think Shrikan is a pretty dangerous hero, even today, even with this buff. But it's so funny to play with. Okay. Oh, ah, he has Archmage. Hmm, that's interesting. A lot of... Um, lower leaders using double double critical buffs. It's not a great idea, I think. So let's start with Axera here. I want to collect a win. Okay, Jean Piao. Maybe you forgot about my backstab, but he will remember it. In a minute, I think. Bad roll, guys! Oh man! He will destroy us! Yeah. <laughs> That's so wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we need to be careful here. I, want, I will play with Kmoon just because I think uh, Karin can disrupt this um, dodge. And I want a resilience though. Okay, that's the goal I wanted. Okay, my resilience will come in handy to absorb damage from Archmage 
perfect. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Now, problem is Absalom has two criticals. That's a dangerous one. I think we will lose. I have a good a good roll, I, but uh, yeah, I have a good roll. But if he is smart, he will win. We just need to go for a full red and yellow and blue. Yeah, that's it. We will cure us with that sword, but um, no. He will hit just one time. Let me see. Oh, maybe. Maybe we have a chance. Nope. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I misplayed here uh, on purpose, of course, but I did. Now, let's talk about Wolvos for a minute and then we will um, try another team. So, oh, <laughs> I found him. <laughs> that's that's cute. I cannot remember the last time I, <laughs> I completed the next uh, <laughs> plane. Anyway, Wolvos. Now, Wolvos is an interesting uh, beast marauder from Zeal. First skill is a plain and simple single die damage plus 100 with um, a blue one. Then uh, multi hit, 4 times hit 150 and dodge 2. That's interesting. He is not, he is not um, a crazy multi hitter, so he will not synergize well with plus damage, but also it's quite interesting. And then he has rage 150 and mimic 500. That's quite something. I think this skill is the best one, and I think the best rolls for him will be the uh, red, yellows, and swords. Maybe two reds, two yellows, and two swords. It's a great, great, great um, roll. So I think Wolves is much more um, interesting and maybe tactical hero than it may seem. I think this fir first skill here you should avoid. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I, I, I like him. I think the best seal for him is the um, resilience one. Yeah, I think so. Will synergize well with dodge. Also will be will punish multi-hitters and that's interesting. And so it's a great mimic count. Yeah. Just imagine against maybe a card like Bess, he will copy with Mimic his um, Blessing and then hit with Rage and Blessing. That's quite cool, I think. I really like him. Also, Zeal Beast is an interesting team. Unfortunately, World was not, does not synergize well with Critical, but it synergizes well with Berserk. Uh, so I think one of the team I would have played today to test him would it be would have been uh, with uh, maybe wild, of course, uh, repost. That's a great buff, and our wolf friend Fenrat. So I think a uh, team with Fenrat, wild, mm, wolvos, and then maybe I don't know. Let me see. Or maybe even just a repose. So maybe a team with Wolvos, um, Wild, and then Silene, that's great with that sword. Silene, Golem of Marlock maybe? I don't know. I think there are quite a lot of uh, different possibilities for this card, so it's it was quite interesting. Okay, now let's resume. I want to try a different team. Oh, I I talked about Bordertron and also it's uh, it's been a long time since I I've played Pirates. So let's take Pirates. And let's go. So I want to play Oh, a Bordertron I had the Dodge Seal before. And I think yeah, resilience now it's better, I think. Let me see again. Yeah. Or even 
even shield maybe. Yeah, I will go for shield. Okay. Let's try with Wontron. We want a strategic kind of uh, play style. So I will play with Carbus, of course, to give. Okay. I forgot about Sushi. Has, has she been uh, buffed recently? I forgot about it. Anyway. Hmm. Our friend Armorhead. There are not a lot of mages. But I want to try John. Yeah. And Gemini is a good buffer. And we need another Marauder, maybe, to complete the stuff. Yeah. Well, Filicant. Filicant is always good. Yeah, I will go with this one. This is an interesting team. A lot of possibilities. Ooh, against Armada, Border Turn is the perfect match. We have Dodge, we have Powder, we have Powder. Now give me that yellow. Oh, come on. Give me yellow. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Ah. We will probably win anyway, but that's quite not good yeah we will win thanks to the dodge of course if you have bought dodge you are always uh, good against armada and i wanted to <laughs> give him the full border turn style uh, beating okay we won fair fair and square let's attack with carabus here hybrid Arena. so Spellbreaker, Damage, Rage, I will unleash Lightning over, over Arena. Another blue or red, perfect, that's the rule I wanted. Lightning, okay, we'll see, maybe, maybe I will lose against Arena, but that's okay. Yeah, great synergy between Rage, of course, and uh, Powder. Okay, yeah, he will, he will win. Or oh, no, by four, so that's a great one. Oh, Archmage, he is so fucked. Gemini, sorry. And also we had John against the Marquis, so <laughs> this game was perfect for us. Okay, perfect roll. Okay, GG, easy. That's the definition of GG Easy. Great one. So we will not have the time to test all the new cards. I will just play with the ones that I feel are the best or the most fun. But I have reviewed uh, all the new cards in the patch at the start of the stream. So if you missed it, go back after. Okay, that's a good, a good one. So Bordertron, I will play another game with him just to see if, if we can be useful in the meta again. I think so. Against also he's very good against um, Colossi. That's that's interesting. So Carabus will lose against Caravan, but Filiacant maybe not. Also, Shadow without Seal, yeah, Filiacant should definitely win. Okay, Karen. So we need to unleash. Maybe I will search for. Oh, that's, that's the perfect roll. Double dodge also to contain his fireballs. No, he will activate just one powerful fireball. Yeah. He did not stand a chance against Fiacant. Fiacant is a great versatile hero, one of the best multi hitters in the game still. Very powerful, very useful. Let's see. 
Oh, blood sword. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of counter to strength in this team. I will go with... Hmm. Let me see what's best here. We can win with all three of these heroes, so I will go with Karabus just to maximize maybe the use of Gemini. Even though I need to go for a full uh, lightning and heal roll again. Okay, I will activate one powder. That's not bad. We will activate his repost. Now, Blast Sword is so powerful now. That's a great buffer. Great, great buffer. His rage count is better. Okay. Okay. Perfect. 2 0. Oh, Malicia. I think I will attack with Gemini here. Gemini will definitely lose against both the Shadow and Safira, but probably against Malicia, I have a chance. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I will now buff as much as I can, maybe double. Let's do both. Okay, okay, just one buff, but double dodge is quite useful. Okay, the shadow will be strong. Hmm. I think John will lose badly against both the shadow and Malicia, so we need to win with border turn. And that will not be easy. We have a lot of counters here in this team, but against non sword users, they are not so good. Okay, now let's see what Malicia does. If he attacks with Malicia, I will defend with Border Throne. If he attacks with the Shadow, I will sacrifice, yeah, probably. I will sacrifice Bordertron, I guess. Yeah, I will sacrifice Bordertron and then try to overcome Alicia. Of course, I will try to have the best role anyway. But, okay. Okay, perfect. He has a great role. Okay. We should be able to beat Malicia. Our first, our first um, skill is quite strong against her, and also how our second um, hit and dodge should be good against his might. Okay. We just need to forget about the yellow part, I guess. Come on. Okay, perfect rule. GG, easy again. We won, but this, I think we won. But this team is, I don't know, not so efficient. It's pretty good against sword users, but against other ones, I don't know. She goes full shock. And that's a correct choice from her. that I should be able to overcome that. Yeah, easily. Perfect. 3-2, now let's change things. Now I will resume my Dakiza. Dakiza back with Runix. That's a good one. And I will play with Pyromak this time. And okay, Yomak. Yeah, I I already sealed him with forms. That's the correct choice, I think. Those two, Valerius. The fourth one should be Tuscos. Tuscos, I really like. Or what are the alternatives? Leorius. I think Leorius is 
more synergic maybe now with this team. I will start with Leorius. And I will oh let me find Akiza. Here she is. And let's go. Also, Tuscus is very good. And I want to try Leorius. Leorius is so good with Dakiza and Valerius that you know you don't want to miss him. For Nevermore X. I don't know this guy. It's an interesting choice to run Malisha without without um, priests. So now Sphatic. Okay. Now against Sphatic. Can I beat him with the Orius? Hmm. Not without uh, without a Colossus, I think. So I will go for a buff. Okay, that's fair. I will lose to one of his, his best um, heavy standalones, and I will buff. That's an interesting start. Now well, my Valerius is very good, so I will probably attack with Valerius, and Valerius can now beat Malisha for sure, but maybe even Anxa, I don't know. Or should I... Okay, wait now. Should I attack with Valerius or with Leorius? I need to win. I really need to. If I lose, that's bad, so I need to overcome Anxera here. And I think Leorius is the best one, just because um, he deals better with Spellbreaker. Okay. Okay. Okay, double Spellbreaker, but not... Okay. Okay, well, okay. Well. It was not enough, but it was enough. <laughs> To stop his, um, it was not enough to stop his uh, spellbreaker, but we won anyway, so that was the correct choice. Now I will defend with my Valerius, and then Pyromach will end this. Okay, Valerius will definitely win against Malisha, I think. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Perfect. Not a perfect roll, but should be enough, enough to win against Malisha. I have criticals, and with criticals, Malaris. Malaris is so synergic with Akiza, guys. Look at that. Malaysia can do nothing against me. And now we will see Piromac in action. Let's go. Let's hammer down those two girls here with my fireball. So my fireball will deliver, oh man, a crazy amount, crazy amount of damage, okay, and let's see, let's see this fireball in action, okay, he has a perfect rule, 1600 fireball, it's so much, it's so much, yes. Crazy, 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 crazy. We, we won with just that. That's that's so much. I, I'm in love with this pure Mac guy. This team, greatly recommend to you this one. It's flexible, it's powerful. If you want to play without Colossi, a team with solid chances. Oh, again, World Wars. <laughs> so let's fight. Okay, so Warchild has a mixed team with good standalones. Hmm. So I will start with the Kiza here, just to lure out. Oh, the announcer can, can fuck me up. Okay, he did a mistake. He should have went for 
the announcer, it, it would have uh, one with the keys and also copied the critical to Mazamune. That was a great chance for him, but he missed it. And uh, we will lose, but that's, fa that's fair against Mazamune. And we buff a lot Warren, Inca, and Valerius. This kind of team, the Kiza Warrior uh, Valerius team, was originally designed by um, Psy himself, I think, on the Psy Minion team. So that's, that's a great structure for a team. Gaia is so strong. Just one ally. Also, she's strong for thorns and smites. So, Leorius, even without buff, I think, can beat her. We just need reds. Okay. Oh! Huh. It should be enough, maybe? We'll see. We will avoid his, his heal and, and his smite. We don't care about forms, so we should win. You see, Leoris is very, very versatile. Bam! 2000 in one hit. Crazy good. Now, Let's attack with Valerius. And an Inca will become a monster basically with so much buff. That's quite amusing. Okay. Oh. Let's try it. Not good. So. We still have a chance. Oh, perfect. No, it's not so perfect. Let me see. Maybe we have a chance. I don't know. Too much. Yeah. Okay. Fair, fair loss. We would have needed a blue to win this one. But now we have Warrior Inca that's crazy powerful and then Pure Mac. I will go with Yomak here. Come on, give me a red. Okay, that's perfect roll, guys. Perfect roll. Okay, he has a perfect roll too. <laughs> but, but our powerful fireball is really too much. <laughs> okay. Great. And now Wurrika is slightly buff as you can see. Yeah. He has deja vu, so you wanna copy my bulwark. Yeah, but I don't think so. I think I'm gonna go for a destroy. Complete, utter destroy. Yeah. <laughs> My shield bash will be enormous, guys. Just prepare for that one. Come on, 4,484 of shield bash. That's a good one. This team is definitely good. And Pyromac is back guys you don't want to miss him that's crazy oh Arkham hmm. oh Crystal Cut I want to play with Crystal Cut yeah I forgot about it so I will play the last game and this time Crystal Cut I think the best one is Steel Forms but I don't have Forms so the second one is Resilience that's perfect yeah Mete, why not? Lady Bean, Lilies, and Cochrane, I think. Even though Chinya is very good. 
I think Cochrane is better. Let's fight with this one. And let's see if Christogat can be a force to be reckoned with. Oh, we have some powerful opponent, Kais the Malefic, with Stench, Master Mage, Kire, and the Monodzilk. Hmm. Monodzilk. Okay. He has a powerful hit, he has backstab, and he has dodge. So, ladies, let's go. Okay, another blue maybe? Perfect roll, guys. Very good. Okay, he will hit us very hard. We'll see if we can. No, we cannot go as high as Monozilk goes. Not bad though, not bad. Okay, let's go with Cochrane. Yes, just powerful multi hitters. Okay, I guess. We are not so lucky. Those multi hitters are quite oppressive against us. Teyura is quite dangerous. She does not suffer uh, at all frostbite. So. Best one here, probably Kai's the Malefic. Yeah, that's the correct choice. And then just go for swords. Okay. I have a good roll. We'll see. If he activates a lot of reds, maybe I can win, but I don't think so. Oh! He went for full. Four reds? That's not a good idea, man. Not against uh, a Frostbite user. Of, of course, if his death there will be powerful. Yeah. So maybe maybe he will win anyway. Yeah. Okay. He will win anyway. But that was a bold move on him. Yeah. He risks risk it here. Okay, so we basically lost. This is a bad team, guys. But good cards and so okay. Christocat is useless. Even though I see hit and dodge can be interesting. Okay, I will go with Christocat here. Hmm. Okay, so if maybe if we roll another red, yeah, maybe we can activate the. Okay, he avoided. Hmm, that was a good, a good call for him. Okay, otherwise we would have activated two times. Yes, he hit. Yeah. Okay, we won. That's good. Against the Eura, that's not easy to do. So the problem is Meta here and Lady Bill, I think, can beat Soeko, but Meta, I don't think, can beat Master Mage. I will start with Meta. Okay, that was expected. Let's hope he rolls bad, otherwise I don't think we can win. Bad roll for us. Okay, no way he missed it. We are doomed. This team maybe is not that competitive, but Christocat is surprisingly good. Winning against um, Teyura is something, guys. It's nothing uh, that comes cheap. It's usually very hard to win against the Hura. So, with a perfect roll, we would have won anyway. Okay. Come on, I want to do another one with this, this team. I want to explore Christocat a bit more. I think he has potential. So.
sound. Hmm. Noble Shock. I think Meta can cope with him. Disappears. And then it's here again. Magic, guys, magic. Okay, we should be able to win. Very good, powerful strength phase. Meta is not bad at all. Okay, okay. Choose my hero, and what's my hero? I don't know. Huh. I will start with Lelise just because I want to maybe undermine this plus damage from for eyes. Also, plus damage on King of Avalonia. It's bad! Come on, he is so majest majestic with force and resilience. And you give me him give him plus damage. You sure? Ah, it's not a bad a good call. You see? Perfect, almost perfect roll. I don't think we can win if he has a bad a good roll, but he does not have Colossi, so maybe we have a chance. Oh perfect roll! Damn! Damn, guys! We have a powerful icy hit, though. Maybe? Yeah. Are you a real-life master mage? Yeah, I am. I am a really good master mage. <laughs> I'm good with card tricks. I studied magic for a while. Okay, why are you Kira or Pilkin? I think I'm more, I'm much more like Pilkin. Kira is my good friend, Pep. So, sword or blue? Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, almost one. That was good. Now, I think. Uh, let's see, interesting. Huh. Christocat? I will start with Christocat just because I have dodge, and so I can. Um, I can dodge this Noble's might here. And Lady Beam is better in defense against uh, Boyle, for example. So, that's what I will do. Also, Lady Beam is usually better in defense, thanks to Blessing. Okay. That's a good roll. Another yellow, maybe? Perfect. Now, Frostbite will devour Great Duke. At least, I hope so. Good roll for Great Duke. Will it be enough? Not sure. Our dodge will be useful. Okay. Also, he is powerful, so maybe, I don't know. Yeah, we lost. This team. Crystal Cut is good, but this team is not, I think. Ourselves are not so good anymore. That's bad. Let's see if I forgot someone I want to play with. No, the other one are fine. Oh, I will give, just, just because I'm having fun here, I will play with Van Ice, just remembering the old times. Here. Where is Vanalis? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Here she is. She's gold. 
light seal and it's the damage seal. So let's go with Vanalis. Yeah. Pure multi hitter nausea just for you guys. Choose my hero and it's Valyrian. Valkyrian, sorry. Let's okay. Perfect. That's a good roll. Better than, than his. But also his shocks are quite powerful, so we'll see. If hmm, okay. Okay. So we won barely. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. More magic. Yeah, I will do maybe a stream with magic tricks. But most of my magic tricks are with the uh, with the entire deck of cards. So it's they are not so good on camera. I do not do many manipulation tricks, and those are the ones that uh, are good on camera. Just like the one I did before the, the disappearance of the card. Okay, this one is uh, is actually good to see on camera but uh, I don't do a lot of this kind of tricks I mostly do uh, card selection and so on I do have something interesting though to show you uh, for another time something huh, quite cool I will show you maybe in the next stream if I remember because I need to set it up a bit Okay, I guess Chichis Blanche does not have any chances, any Chichis. Uh, like, okay. Now, choose my hero, and uh, it is Vanadis time, guys. Let's go. We will avoid Tusco's Thorns. I want to impress the ladies. Yeah, magic always work with guys, though. Girls do not like magic so much, at, at least not as much as we hope they do. Oh, Vanalis, why you betrayed me? Oh man, I wanted so bad to play with you, and you betrayed me. Ah. Almost. Okay. Okay, let's go for Master Mage Kira. We need. Okay. Swords, perfect. Our Spellbreaker will, will disrupt his brain damage. That's, that's a good one. Of course, his Spellbreaker will be useful against us. But that's an easy win for. Master Mage, one of the best, if not the best, multi hitter in the game. Yeah. You can't wait for it. You got me. <laughs> yeah, I will do it for sure. I need to set it up. I have something in mind for you. Okay. Perfect. That's the perfect role for a guy like Tuscos. He will go for Thorns. And we will do shocks. One and two. Let's see if you can do better. I think you can't. And that's why we won. Very good. Okay, guys. So, this patch was very good. I wasn't able to uh, stream about the new X release of this week, Wolvos. But I think he has some interesting potential with beasts. And also with Wild, Wild will give him a precious repost. Um, powerful Rage Heroes uh, really synergize well with repost, so I think what was is interesting. Also, Dodge 2 in second skill is always a good uh, good thing. Uh, it will 
will be useful against um, heavy hitters in first skill, so I think it's a very interesting card. I don't know about his full potential since I didn't play with him, but I think it's quite interesting. Also, the artwork is good, so that's not bad. That's not something uh, to forget. So, guys, let's uh, see each other on Monday. We will talk about the uh, new Monday release of uh, next week, and we will see each other in a couple of days. Have a nice weekend, and for today, ADC is out. Bye, guys.